So I'm going to play the new Team Kirby Clash today. Might continue it later if it's really good on stream. And if it's not, then I'll play it in my free time because I love this series. And it's probably not going to be bad. I played the uh, original one that was on the uh, 3DS and it was really good. So I have high hopes for this one. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be playing Puyo Puyo 2 because now I own the game, essentially. So tomorrow is literally just Puyo Puyo 2 day. Uh, stream may start a little bit late tomorrow, so be prepared if I'm, like, you know, at worst a half hour late. So, yeah. But it's definitely happening tomorrow. And then, um... Not sure what I'm going to be doing on Saturday night. I also got a hold of Mario 3D World, so I'm going to start playing that soon. So that's exciting. And I know I keep promising it, but Puyo 7 is soon, I, I swear. I have all the things I need to emulate again. So as long, if I can get a hold of a translated version of that game, that'll be easy. So I got a lot of stuff lined up. I'm going to start marking down a list, like I said, of all the things that are going to happen and all the things going on, and that will be below the stream eventually, just like scrolling down on Twitch. And yeah, that's the state of affairs. So it wouldn't surprise me. It seems like one of the first ones you'd tackle, really, because it was the last main series title. Anyway. I am just about done downloading this game. Luckily, it was a very fast download. I don't know why it says one minute. Oh, yeah, I know it has online multiplayer, and I'll probably play that another time. But I played the original one on 3DS by myself, so I'm going to start this one by myself. Anyway, it's going to be a good one. Also, I'm glad Switch Online is finally worth its value. All it took was them to do this. Uh, making Tetris 99 an even more complex game and adding SNES is all you needed. It's actually not just a port, if I'm correct. Uh, Dream Kingdom. You know what? That's Kirby Plot in a nutshell. I know this game has uh, stamina and stuff like that, but... Yeah. What am I talking about? <laughs> So this is basically just a better version of a better version of a small minigame in Kirby Planet Robobot. So they were like, okay, we'll turn this Robobot in minigame into a full game, like they did with a lot of the minigames. And now they're making it into an even bigger game with even better graphics, and it's just like, you can calm down. They, they know how good this game is. And I like the way they handle the microtransactions. Microtransactions are just to get you uh, through the game without having to grind. Which is nice. In fact, I can pull it up right here. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, it wants me to play with Joy-Cons. With Rumble settings. Hmm. Oh wow, they're, they're advertising all the games there. Okay, well I'll play with my Joy-Con then. Uh, let me pull those bad boys out real quick. I play Puyo with a controller that doesn't have Rumble, because I don't care about Rumble and Puyo. I care about having a good D-pad. But the Joy-Cons have a good D-pad, I just don't care. Oh 
I wasn't ready for that. Please no. Yeah, I played the first two levels of Puyo. Okay, so X is the pause menu, which is really weird. And this is also the menu. Hmm. So, like I said, I've played this before. Change roll. Rolls are very basic. The um, sword is the defender. This is your tank. This is your healer. And this is your support. I mean, my favorite is hammer. And yeah, you get different outfits that do different things, and it's it's a very good it's a very good game. So if they're just gonna keep enhancing it, oh wow, they're allowing for uh, communications as well through stickers. That's that's a good. So yeah, hammer can't fly. And he's real slow. What is this? There's a lot of stuff here. And this is Micro Transagalore. We'll talk to him later. Uh, they're doing password system in this game too. Yeah, this is this is good. Ooh, the music's cool. I'm gonna have to turn the music up a little bit though. Puyo is really loud compared to all of my other Switch games. Attack with B, blah blah blah. I know how to play Kirby. All I know is Super Armor is a lot less viable in this game. Yeah, there we go. No hammer throw, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Ultra giant swing, hammer twirl. Yeah, this seems like normal hammer shenanigans. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, so this is the uh, barrage attack. The pendulum. Yeah, this is all coming back to me. This is very similar to the original. I apologize, my mic is not facing the right way. Yeah, it topples them. Which is the perfect time to get some big hits off. Okay. It's been a bit since I played Star Ally, so I gotta remember. And it's been even longer since I played Team Kirby Clash. <sighs> Grinding this game is gonna be a blast. Yeah, I'm remembering everything about this game. This is a this is a very very fun game. I know I keep saying that, but the best part about Kirby is its bosses. There's no question about it. Like some of the puzzles are cool, but it's the bosses that are the best part. So if you, this is a game about tackling extremely difficult bosses with friends. If that doesn't sound amazing. In concept, it's something's wrong because it is amazing. Oh, 
Okay, come on, Micro Transagalore, let's go. It's armor support items. Support items. Whoa! This is a lot more in depth. Swords, hammers, staffs, and flasks. Buy a weapon when you're ready to be stronger. Armor boosts stamina. Getting new hats and helmets for keeping your body safe. And perfectly fine to choose one you could look, look good in. So, much like, ironically, how Monster Hunter works, you can change your armor stats to a different armor set stats. And, uh, you can keep the appearance of one armor and the stats of another. Which is the coolest concept in the world. That way you don't have to force yourself to wear ugly armor because it works better. Items you use when playing online. So, emotes. That's really cool. So this is the microtransactions portion of the uh, stream. So. The way microtransactions work in this game uh, is probably one of my favorite ways they can do them. One, the more microtransactions you buy, the more um, you get in-game. So you don't just get a couple of them and that's it. You also will start receiving more of them just in game. Okay, already that sounds pretty nice. But you can spend up to $40, and then that's it. They will cut you off after $40. Because the game's value is actually $40. But they're giving it to us free if we don't want to buy anything. It does require more grinding. But it's nice that they're giving us microtransactions in a non-scummy way. It's a free game that cuts you off after a certain amount, just like the original. And it rewards you for buying stuff, but if you really don't want to, that's your choice. And you're not going to be punished for it. I'm surprised they didn't add more classes is my only, like, response. So we're gonna get lots of cool new designs as well. And I'm looking forward to that. So what are support items? Wow, this is nice. This is really nice. Boost chances of earning certain items. Increase gifts you get. Wow, okay, okay, I'm remembering this. This is just, oh, this is nice. I'm glad they're doing this kind of stuff. <laughs> doing some really cool references too. <laughs> I'm sorry. That shouldn't have made me laugh as hard as it did. That was an ugly laugh. I just this this is a mood. Bye. These are probably bosses in this game. Okay. Um, I know that some of the items were in, mostly the, uh, the permanent upgrades, but I don't know if the uh, consumables were in beforehand. I 
I gotta remember that the X button is the pause menu for some reason. Search for adventures to be your teammate. Passwords, not gonna mess with that just yet. Amia bows. Sure, I have the Smash Kirby amiibo sitting next to me. Why not? He's a good boy. Yeah, and I know for a fact that if you use the Kirby series amiibos, you get extra stuff as well. So, yeah, this is already a new boss right here. So, something that's never been in a game before. Angry Big Boy. I'm in awe of the size of this lad. Absolute unit, in fact. Lumbering fool. I'll beat the jewelry out of him. Oh. There we go. Okay, that works. Cool. That was easy. Hammer Lord's my favorite because you can just attack, hit them with thousands of damage for literal, literal like no effort. Wow. Okay, so they're really not messing around with the ranking system. These are mere silver ranks. Time stop is really good. I know for a fact Mage is a very, very good uh, ability. I might mess around with Mage, actually. I, I love Beam, so it's not hard for me to love Mage, which is the same thing, almost. Party quests? Okay. Yep, buying armor for your teammates is very important. You can't just focus on yourself. Cool, I like that they ask that, so I don't even have to mess with it. is at level 2 now. I was going to say, there were some really cool looking armor sets in the previous game. Like, I remember Dark Matter Swordsman had a cool set of armor. I'd use that whenever I played a sword. Yeah, this game is just handing out rewards at the start, which is really good.
There's a lot to this game. There's a lot more than just your standard affair with Kirby. Party quest is open. Easier to get and collect fragments than there is in story quest. Probably not as good for experience. And it has its oh, it has its own bar. That's really cool. Not only that, but that's really cool. So online play has its own bar, so you can mess around with that if you run out of uh, vigor. So it's a completely separate mode to play with other people then. It doesn't have anything to do with story. That is so convenient. You don't understand. So that means I can just go without playing party until after I beat the story, which is probably what I'm going to do. These character this character art looks really good by the way. Yeah, this is a this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this game. I know part of this uh, part of this ability is charging up your time stops. Got him. Oh. Wow, okay. That's a lot of stuff. Okay, now you can just go back to the quest menu after every fight, too. So now it's just gonna roll out the quests just right in front of me. I'm gonna play as the medic. Medic! I need healing. <laughs> Takes one HP of damage. I need healing. I know what I know what the good attacks are with this ability. Oof. Yeah, all these characters are really, uh, really well balanced.
Okay. I don't know if I like Medic or not. This is a, yeah, this is a lot of fun. It, and every mission has uh, its own set of quests as well. Ordeals. Okay, ordeals are major boss fights. I remember ordeals. I remember the ordeal music being really, really good as well. But this is a different game with different music. So... Let's just find out. You're gonna be a, a swordy. Smash fans hate him. Sword wielding suit of armor stands in the way as it head through the dunes. Watch out, this foe carries a flaming sword. Oh. Oh, it's a remix. What are my commands? Don't I? I thought I had a uh, sword beam. Hold up, release. Oof. There it is. <laughs> oh, that hits above him. Okay, gonna block this. I gotta do my job as the hero because the hero's got the big shield. Cool. Okay, that could have been better. Yeah, these boss fights get very, very hectic as the game goes along. It may not seem like much. These may just seem like normal fights, but... Oh, uh, he's stunned and time stopped. This is the best possible scenario. That was cool. That was a real cool one. Ignite Edge. New path to the ruins. Whoa. 
are gone to the ruins. Welcome back. Hello, Magalore. Gem apples, you can find them with the gem at Wait, free sample of apples? Ooh, that's how they get ya. Oh. Interesting. Well, I should probably upgrade some stuff. Hmm. I guess I can't really upgrade anything just yet. I need to get more blue crystals. Or water fragments. Oh wow, he seems like a tough one. Can you buy gem apples with Nintendo Online points? Yeah, you can buy anything with Online points. Uh... So I've already run into the issue that I gotta wait. But I could always grind, which is honestly not a bad idea. And you can also check out missions, like clear this as the Sword Hero, clear this as the Hammer Lord. Yeah, I, I might have also just, you know, recently spent all of my gold points on smashed costumes for me fighters. Don't judge me. <laughs> I, uh, they looked cool, and I had some extra gold points lying around. Okay, let's take this guy out. Cool. Could have done better, but oh well. Meteor time. And yeah, that should be death. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's a new record, I suppose. And I got a mission to complete. Pretty cool. Ice sparkle increased by four. Not that it matters. Ah, uh, yeah, superstar quotes. I like that they throw in the superstar quotes. Now I have no problems whatsoever taking out these guys. I'm gonna be the hammer boy. Actually, land a hammer flip. Well, no reason not to be a hammer, I suppose. And there are good teams for fights. Pick some enemies. It's good to have two hammers because you just need the offense. 
Or you, or you need the tanks. Ooh, mute remix. Yeah, I can't fly. <laughs> if I get cornered, it's bad for me. I love how upset he looks when he falls over. Oh, this is so nice. I love this game. Oh wow, he teleports. Hit him with another charge attack and freeze him. Ah, right, well, you know what? He did what I said. I'll give him that. See what I got. To the village. Oi. I'm not buying gem apples, microtransagalor. I shall buy a new hammer. Yes. I'm gonna look snazzy. Yeah, this seems like a good purchase. Buy everyone new weapons first. Nope. Then I shall buy you a new headdress. I don't have the required materials. Well, you're out of luck. Sorry, mage. Er. Um. Doctor. Medic! More apples. You know what they say! The more, the merrier. Land a spin slash. Clear as beam. Two swords sounds interesting. It gives us shielding, which is good against slow lumbering enemies that are on the ground. Because contact damage is a pain. I definitely keep pressing that accidentally.
That was fast. Humor is broken against Wispy Woods. I'm not surprised. Platinum rank at 15 seconds. Ooh! Ooh, okay. Wow. So platinum is a thing, in fact. As I thought it would be. Cool. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. Reach a high score of 3,000, clear quests five times, as a sword, reach level seven. This game has a very fun quest system. Let's take on Blocky. It still makes me happy that this classic enemy was brought back. Like, Kirby straight up looks like a, a rejected Marvel character in this armor. Massive damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Cool. I definitely failed, but everyone else got it, so it's cool. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, abusing invincibility frames is a big car a big fun part of Kirby's gameplay. Rarity 4 gear, huh? Interesting. Whoa. Well, they're not messing around. They're already showing off Parallel Nightmare. So a lot of the people, for a lot of people who don't know the lore of the original game, because it helps explain the whole parallel shenanigans. The events of the original Team Kirby Clash revolve around the a parallel universe leaking all of its villains into Kirby's main universe. And this is definitely going down the same route to where we're getting an another dimension version of Nightmare, which will be the first time he's in 3D, by the way. Which is, well, if you don't count Smash, which is huge. Uh, that's actually really, really exciting.
clear this quest after level 7. Clear and earn a gold medal. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm looking forward to the nightmare fight. Especially if it's anything like it was in Adventure. I need to figure out... So... Okay. So this attack works exactly how I remember it. Okay. Oh, that's a health potion. Cool. Cool. The power tablet? Uh, no. I don't think that was ever explained. Which is weird, but whatever. <laughs> I don't even think that was a new record. Oof. Oof. New stuff at the shop, though. Grab support items, they're pretty helpful. What kind of support items you got? Makes it easier to regain vigor. That seems good. Water fragments seem to be used for a lot of things, so it's probably best if I upgrade this as well. Equip now. There's some really cool designs. Also, some weapons have specific abilities innate in them, as you can see in the bottom right. I like the Lapis weapons, they look really cool. No, I didn't I don't didn't want to be a sword hero, but I guess that works.
Nightblade. Uh, uh, it's him. Get back here. So what is the password? Oh, what is this music? It's probably on the Kirby Twitter. <laughs> what is his music? Closing around tab. Oh, cool. Woo! That's a lot of stuff. Andy, oh wow, you get rewarded for using a password? It's kind of bonkers. Press the wrong button again. <laughs> Actually, is there volume settings in here so I can turn the game up? No. Yeah, in fact, I believe the original Kirby Clash is right here. Yeah. This is the original one that was on 3DS. So, this really is just a better version of it. Well, now I have no problems uh, buying armor for everyone. Just a lot of really cool designs. <laughs> I didn't see this one. <laughs> Fantastic. Also, that one's really good. See you soon, Kerbo. Jeez, there's a lot of achievements being unlocked here. Where do I check? my heroic quests, actually. It's probably in here. Heroic missions. Yeah, there's probably a lot of them. Yikes. Yikes. There's a lot.
Yeah, almost everything here rewards you with either rare fragments or gem apples. Rare fragments are used for uh, late game armor. Now, access to eShop. Seriously, access in the eShop is an achievement. Are we serious? The music even keeps playing! What kind of sorcery have you pulled? Where's my money? Where's my money, Hal? Yeah, there it is. I keep pressing the wrong button. Yeah, there's a lot of missions here. Use 300 gem apples. Like, come on. Can I just straight up buy better armor then? Because I have a lot of, uh, oh, I have a lot of stuff. It costs a lot of gem apples though. That's a good point. I'll upgrade a hammer because it's my favorite. I'll also change this because I think this looks like gross. I get that it's supposed to look like a, a door, if I'm correct. <laughs> Which is funny, but nah. This looks cooler. Oops. Gear. Change armor. Cool. Well, it looks like I have a lot of time to kill, doesn't it? What is the mission info? Clear as a beam mage and earn a silver medal. Hmm. Look at this cocky little egg down in the right corner. He knows what he's doing. He's making me. He's making me buy things. I'm gonna try that other password. I love how unabashed this music is. Really? That's it? Okay. Play as the beam hero, beam mage. My apologies. No, nope, you're not. You're supposed to be a doctor. There we go. You know, I can't think of an attack that sounds as cool as time beam. The time beam is preparing. Wow, you're targeting me. Okay.
Okay, everyone. Woo! Oh, it got gold on it, too. Cool. I'm having a lot of fun, and I can't wait for this game to really kick up, because I know for a fact it will. Meteor got stronger. That's good. Alright, time to fight Parallel Nightmare. Oh... Recommended level nine. <laughs> you make me laugh. This thing's gonna beat my ass. <laughs> I think having uh, having two swords seems like a good idea. I don't think a beam mage is going to be all that useful against an enemy who can fly, because a charge attack is more ground-based. Welcome back. You missed me grinding an enemy, so it's not a big deal. Also, I can't wait f Is this going to be a remix of Nightmare's theme? Because that would be awesome. It is! It's a remix! Okay, this game's gonna be fan service. I can feel it now. It's just like the. Oh, this is really cool! This is really cool. It's actually just like the boss fight in Adventure. Oh, this is exactly what I imagined a fight in a modern game would be like. They redid the animations and everything. This is so cool! I'm loving this. Oh, ouch. The final power to have what? It's mine. All right, let's stun him. Wow, that was really bad on my part. Cool, cool stuff. I'm looking forward to this game's soundtrack. Holy wow. Rarity level five. Oh, to the vill Ooh, are we gonna have a we're gonna have some exposition? Defeat the caped man, unfortunately he fled to the other side of the volcano. In pursuit of the caped man to protect the kingdom from other invading enemies, Team Kirby heads to the new whatever. I'm not a dialogue person. I 
Hello, Magwar. Buy some stickers. You got some new stickers. These are really, really cool looking weapons. Wow. Interesting. It's by the Lapis Helm. Thanks for your business. Yeah. Lousy trout. Oh cool, I can afford it. I can afford the uh the last weapon now. See you soon. <laughs> Global piece of trash. Magalor is like juggling the apples back there, swimming in them. He's filthy rich. New quests on every level. Tough. Gigant Edge. Recommended level 11. Wow. Tough Bonkers. Tough Wispy Woods. Tough Colossal Triple Team. Interesting. Let's fight bonkers. You don't have enough gem apples, you lazy. Okay. I understand now. I understand my predicament. However, there was a, uh... Wasn't there a mission where I had to beat it as a, uh, seven? Like, yeah, level seven. There we go. Get a gold medal and clear it at level seven. Cool. So it seems uh, invincibility, uh, the iframes are still pretty good. Cool. We're gonna get the meteor, and it's gonna be over. It's not over. Oh, it's over. <laughs> it's not over, it's over. Cool, I even got the gold on it so I can get the achievement. I almost got platinum on it. Wow. That's unfortunate, however.
to the village because I feel like I forgot to buy something. Yeah, I did forget to buy something. Oh, I need apples for it. Well, we seem to have run into a predicament. I have absolutely no vigor whatsoever. I guess I'll mess with this. These quests use up less vigor than normal, fight alongside teammates from around the world via the internet. This is interesting. And I imagine random people will just join in then. Oh wow, that was fast. I like this emo system. This is nice. This is easy, fast ma matchmaking. I'm surprised. But then again, um, Kirby Battle Royale had really good matchmaking in it, despite just being a bargain bin game, in my opinion. Well, this might actually be something that I'd be able to do with the viewers, which is actually kind of funny. Definitely wasn't what I wasn't expecting, that's for sure. Don't mind if I do. This, the original game needed online, but Hal doesn't like doing online. Is that seriously a Smash Ball? That's amazing. Let me just push it over. Oh, okay. Yeah, communication's kind of difficult. Oh well. Yeah, that's kind of fun. Granted, wow, really? That's a lot of XP. Wow, that's a lot of stuff! What in the world? Look at all those apples! Look at them! I got a bunch of them! Your rank ranked has gone up and your maximum level has increased. You can now reach level 20. Okay. And I got a reward. Fire fragments. Cool. That's really cool. What do you got for me, sir? New support items. Star Quest Codex. Improve rewards from star chests that appear. Oh wow, that's cool. This is really cool.
Actually, I suppose this would be a good chance to get a new hat for the medic. Yeah, this is definitely a game I'm going to be chipping away at on stream. This is a lot of fun. I feel like it's better in short bursts, because I definitely feel like there's a lot of times where you're just going to be sitting around waiting. But it can kill a half hour to an hour if you play right. So, yeah. Let's fight Jagged Edge. What are the missions? Stop time as Beam Mage and survive. This sounds like fun. It's hilarious when you play as four Beam Mages, by the way, because you can just stop time frequently. At least you could in uh, Team Kirby Clash. Also, I really like this armor set. The blue looks so good. So this is the tough enemy music. It's good. Oh, he blocked it! That jerk. Let's get some more time stop on him. Wasn't that hard? This is not a hard fight to get time stop on. Hey, look at that. More time stop. <laughs> you could escape, too. Wow. And he's done. It's over for him. It's over for you. <laughs> I love the impact after a, a, a comet when they die, they just hit the ground and explode. It's like a GTA car, just... <clears throat> That's a weird comparison, but it works, I promise. Ooh, wow, I got gold! Almost got platinum. What can I say? I'm just that good. Clear with the team. Wow, I got every single heroic mission like that. Apples and fragments. Almost level 10. New party quest has been at. There's, there's so much stuff being unlocked. This is really fun. Let's see, I had a mission in the dunes. Let's go fight Bonkers. What is my mission info? Clear as hammer. Clear with a full team of hammers. Now you're speaking my language. Raw damage output. This is a team that I can go with. This is so stupid. Oh, 
<laughs> All the hammer hitting sound effects. Woo! No! Wow, I got totally pinned. Wow, am I seriously going to die again? The nice thing is you can push this towards other players. That was miserable. Oh wow, he's Oh, that was Oh. This isn't going well. This is going bad. This is not good. And this is why you need to have a balanced team. Still pretty good though. I was gonna say I can I'll play the same quest again if I can to get the other achievements for it, but I probably don't have the vigor to do so. Yeah, I didn't imagine I did. Here, not in a gold medal. I guess I can go back and just absolutely wipe the floor with this one. In fact, I'll do all hammers again, because why not? Let's just completely destroy this boss. Woo, platinum. To the village. Is 
I was gonna say, I bought every single level 4 weapon and armor, if I'm correct. You don't have the required materials? Wow. Okay. Well, survivability is important, I suppose. Look at the way he waddle. I don't think I can do any quests right now. Let's try this again. New quests have appeared. Bro. This is a cool system. I'll go sword then. You can use two gem apples to get back all vigor. I did not know that. Well, it's too late now. Yeah, connection's not too bad here either. This connection's much better than the last one. Oh. Oh well. That still went pretty well. Level up time. Singing voice went up.
Tough, wispy words. Hey, wispy words. Everyone loves wispy words, right? I'm gonna go with sword. I didn't see what the mission info was, so it was probably a better character. But you know what? It, it allows me to go back later. Ooh, this is a Return to Dreamland remix. You can't do that to me, game. You can't play with my feelings like that. Oh, I got a shield break. Oh, this is uh this is uh, based off of Triple Deluxe's uh, fight. Interesting. Time freeze. And now we're gonna stun him. Let's go. Awesome. You've almost defeated it. That's what I like to hear. Cutting down a tree with a sword. Seems effective. Definitely. Oh. Alright, take care. I'm about done anyway. It's almost been two hours, and I feel like that's an appropriate amount of time for this game. Cool, that's a lot of stuff. To the village to upgrade. I got buy a beast hammer. I can't buy the beast hammer. Oh, oh, things are getting expensive. If that's the case, then I should buy a codex, shouldn't I? Seems like a smart idea, to be honest. Seems like a good idea. Oh, cool. I don't think I can challenge this one just yet.
Let's challenge this guy again. This time, let's look at the mission info. Speed clear bonus. Bring an adventurer along the quest. How do I bring an adventurer? I know there's a way to do that. What are the chances of that? I wonder if he's still here, because he literally just left. That's really cool. I mean, I'm probably just gonna keep it to the CPU characters for obvious reason, obvious like balance reasons. But um, that's really cool. Oof. I got smished. Blocky confirmed for smash. Time shield. Ouch. Cool. Yeah, use the iframes off of that too. Not my best performance, but a good one. Cool. And I got the gold, which gives me uh, another achievement. You know what? That is a perfect place to end things off. That was a very, very fun way to start this game. Because this game is very, very fun. It's, uh, oops. This game is exactly what I thought it would be. It's gonna take a little bit to get used to it. I did the same thing again. I'm used to using a D-pad, so I can just press down on it. I'm not used to the Switch's button interface. But yeah, I'm definitely going to play this again sometime.